If you guys like how I do my chart analysis on YouTube and you want to learn how to do it yourself, click the link below to check out the VTrades technical analysis course. What's up traders? This is VTrades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for, for first Majestic Silver with the ticker symbol AG. If you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Also take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate it very much. This video is for entertainment purposes only and does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see in the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So here we have a large silver mining company called First Majestic Silver with the um, periodic table symbol AG, which is silver. Um, I really like this company. I remember someone commented that they want a TA done on this uh, company. Just never got to it, but it's it's definitely a company I've been following for a while now. Uh, I've been watching a lot of their videos by the uh, CEO Keith Newmeyer. Um, he's a very smart guy. Um, I just really like the company, and it's definitely getting more appealing since it dropped 50% in less than a month. You can see it was trading around right around that 1450 level back here in April 18th, and it dropped 50%. Um, and bottom right around the 13th of May. So less than a month, we dropped 50%. Uh, but is the selling over? Uh, probably not. Does look like we want to do continue a little bit more lower. So I'll show you guys why. Uh, so here's the downtrend channel that was in play. Um, I could even do another one, a micro downtrend channel. This one right here. This one is kind of played out uh, because we already had the breakout side of this pattern in a new lobe. Uh, but... I think since we have not reversed, most likely we were inside of a larger channel, maybe something like this. Uh, this makes more sense of why prices have not reversed yet. So we're kind of just consolidating, uh, traveling sideways since um, the 18th of May. So this is the range that prices are stuck inside of. Looks like we can't break that $8 level, but we cannot break that $8.50 level also for um, resistance. So we're kind of just going sideways. Uh, very similar to what I'm predicting uh, occurring on that SLV chart where we're just kind of going sideways after the large sell-off. So uh, this definitely shows uh, that it could occur with the same pattern. So we're just going sideways. Uh, but what I think is going to happen, we're going to get a fail breakout on the top side, thinking, uh, trapping a bunch of longs, thinking we're going to reverse. And then we're going to see a dump back down to these prior lows, most likely. I think these prior lows are probably going to get tested. Um, metals are definitely selling off. And silver is a... It's a more volatile metal than gold, so it's going to be um, moving more than uh, gold will, would. So if gold moves 1 or 2%, silver moves maybe 3 or 4%. Uh, you can see this was the first leg down, this is the second leg down. The measure move target is also lower, right at the $6 level. So um, everything's kind of pointing lower. Uh, I'd be surprised if, if this was the bottom for the company, right around that $7 level. Uh, but I, anything can happen. As right now, I'm thinking... And looking at the chart, it looks like it's a bearish chart. Uh, we had a large sell-off, so we're just taking a break. I'm expecting continuation to the downside and reach this measure, measure move target at the $6 level. So again, uh, great company. Me, I, I personally am watching this. Uh, eventually, I might invest in the company. I do believe in the CEO's values. Uh, silver is definitely one of the most underappreciated metals or commodities in the world. Um, silver still has not... Uh, exceeded its prior all-time highs in 1970 i believe right, right around the 50 dollar level and there's not a lot of things uh with the same uh price that we're currently at uh, maybe sugar but everything else has appreciated due to inflation and the demand but silver is just the most manipulated thing ever uh so they've got to keep the price down because so if silver goes up which has thousands of uses then uh we're in a lot of trouble so this i guess they got to keep it down um, through the COMEX, uh, short selling million, millions and millions of um, futures contracts. But eventually something's going to give and this thing could take off like a bunch of other um, uh, commodities that we have recently noticed um, taken off. But that's pretty much everything I have on the uh, daily chart. We can go wrap this up on the weekly chart. Here we have the weekly chart for AG and I can see the price action since 2020. Um, not a lot has happened since 2020. Uh, we're pretty much back near the lows at the $4 level. Um, so we kind of broken even in the past two years if you held since April of 2020. So um, very uh, slow kind of um, stock, meaning um, you kind of just want to swing trade this, not really a buy and hold stock. 
uh, that's the thing about gold gold normally if you see the gold chart it usually just uh, is it's an uptrend uh, for the most part but silver is it's kind of like a range bound commodity um, you kind of want to sell near the highs if I zoom out on the chart uh, you can see that we have these large swings up and down we go up a lot then we go down a lot then we go, then we have these huge pushes uh, upwards then we go down a lot so just um, uh, recently just uh, last year we were at $24 so now the company is at a third of its value uh, in just a, in a year so again large large swings in this company and maybe it's not something you want to hold uh, long term but things can change it could turn into a trending stock even though it's a range bound stock so we did have this downtrend in play uh, for a few years uh, we did come up short on this side of the channel which shows signs of weakness uh, we had a breakout side on the top side of the channel in the form of a trend uh, we had a breakout side of this trend which shows signs of weakness for this correction then we had a nice little double top pattern before crashing down to retest the prior lows which, which is normally what we expect out of the first break of a channel just like we ha we had the first break of the channel for this up move and then we went back up to retest the highs found resistance and we sold off now uh, prices are kind of just going sideways because uh, traders are like now what um, the trend is kind of played out but they don't want to really buy this thing because we're not really at any strong support level so the next strong support level is right around that five dollar level uh, that's where the 2020 crash went to before we reverse so this could be a lot of buyers uh, at this price level instead of at the price level that we're currently trading at so i'm looking for lower price targets um uh, that's pretty much everything i have for ag uh, that's the daily chart and weekly chart and it's probably one of my favorite uh, companies even though i don't own it but i just like uh, following what they do uh, before uh, they were mostly mining silver but now they're kind of diversifying into other metals because silver is just so volatile um, you don't want your company to do good one year then bad next year so gold kind of um, uh, smooths out their revenue but uh, that's just a little fundamentals about the company uh, but i'm mostly focused on the technicals right now uh, it's kind of iffy to be a buyer so that's all i have uh, for ag Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channels since you might be surprised what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also, share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.